a lot of fun. Well, I'll tell you what we've learned. We've learned how inflexible Dave is. Oh, okay, so, no, All right. I, I want to show you something. This is one of the stretches that I, we, we've seen you do, okay. where Dave kind of spreads his legs and tries to bend forward. Yeah. Now, Dave, like I said, don't want to embarrass you, but Roger, why don't yeah, you show that, him That's what? not too bad that's for an older guy, but go. if you don't mind, if I give you a little tip here, if you just breathe a little bit deeper, something like this. Okay, let me see it. Yeah, that, that chest looks a little lower than you're at. Yeah, it's just a little better than me. So you're getting there. You're, again, you're pretty good for an older guy there, but you keep working at it, you'll get, uh, you'll get better. And Roger, how old are you? Uh, 57. I got my AARP car about seven years ago. So, uh, <laughs> But it's funny because I'm getting more flexible as I get older, so I can't wait for more. Have you always been this flexible? I get asked that every day for decades, and the truth is no. In fact, when I was a younger man, I was not literally crippled. I had knee surgeries and back problems and wrist problems. And, uh, and the, the sad part was I used to work out and stretch all the time. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like decade after decade went by, and the more I worked out, the more inflexible and hurt I got. But finally, I learned there was a right way to stretch and a wrong way. And the good, even more good news is everybody can improve the range of motion in their body if they stretch the right muscles the right way. At any age? At any age. Okay. So now, if you're like most people, you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. All right, how do I start? Number one, the most important thing, the fundamental of all stretching is breathing. Well, let's go through breathing. Okay. Number one, we don't really stretch. Okay, yes, we're stretching, the muscles are contracting and expanding, but we're really breathing oxygen into the muscles. So, for example, if I'm going to come down here and try to touch my toes, okay. I guarantee you, right there, my lower hamstring started to bite at me. But what's really happened is they're screaming for oxygen. So I'll send the reinforcements and put some oxygen in there. So he's breathing in and breathing out. Yeah. And when he breathes out, look how much farther down he goes.